so sorry guys my computer has not been really functioning well uh, so uh, what where I was is that I was basically telling you about that the profit should be attributed to NCI and parent okay so uh, during the year Zini recorded OCI of 16 million right so uh, for the consolidation purpose only nine months is required okay which is 12 million right so in case of OCI as well we need to uh, figure out what's the nine months OCI and then attribute that amount which is 12 million to the parent and NCI okay and then after that what has happened is that GP has disposed of 20% interest in Zini right so after that date it has lost control and was only left with significant influence okay so the question already says that we don't need to determine otherwise if we were to determine control there are a few criterias that we need to remember what are they I've been talking about it since long period of time you might comment down as well and then after that uh, during disposal what we need to calculate as well is that so how much money we received is the proceed and then the fair value of retained interest this is the whole valuation of the company at the disposal date which is 106 okay so that's the total value of the company and then what you do is that how much is your interest if you subtract it you will get your loss profit or loss right because if this is the whole company and then if you subtract your goodwill your net assets then like everything that you have interest in so you get your pro loss or profit right in this case always remember there will be a NCI that needs to be deducted from your interest because that's not actually your interest right so it, the goodwill also includes uh, NCI's here as well and then after that uh, in case of net assets as well it's it also includes a share of NCI right so the 60% holding is only here so you need to really to deduct NCI okay so that's how we get 8 million and then in this particular question what they had done is that they had recorded a gain of 14 million in individual financial statement which should be removed from investment income okay instead the group will report a loss on disposal of 8 million okay for the remaining interest so now it is 40 percent what we will do is that we will use IAS 28 as per IAS 28 equity accounting method okay so do you, after in this method what we will do is that we will only recognize share of profit for the next three months okay so it's basically 32 into uh, 3 by 12 into 40 percent okay so in OCI case as well we'll do the same thing only for three months and for 40 percent our holding as well only okay so I'll put up a link for this uh, google docs as well so that you can download it later on and have a look so in question number two what we need to look out for is that there is a 10 office floor building all right so zp holds uh, properties for investment property at first july 20x5 zp held a 10 floor office block had a fair value of 90 million with the remaining useful life of 15 years the first floors were occupied by zp's staff the second floor was to was led to boo a subsidiary of zippy free of charge the other eight floors were rented to unconnected parties right when boo vacates the property next year it will be let out to third parties so we are only preparing for 30 june to 0 x6 so we don't need to worry about that all we need to worry about is the fair value revaluation of 96 million at 30 june to 0 x6 so zp has a group policy of stating all land and building to fair value at each reporting date the only accounting entries for the year ended 30 june 20x6 in relation to this office has been correctly included in the rental income in sopl has been correctly include has been to correctly include okay so investment income Mm -hmm. so investment income it 
can be assumed that each floor is of equal size and value depreciation is charged to administrative expense okay so that means what has happened is that let's break it down okay so this is 10 floor right 10 floor and then this is two four zero point two right and then after that the remaining is eight four right so this minus this we don't need life because we are not depreciating for this okay because since uh, remember like when we are using any asset then that is only pp but if you are uh, actually using fair value model under investment property we don't need to depreciate it so no depreciation is needed for the eight floor right so what has happened later on is that the fair value has increased from 90 to 96 right so it has increased from 90 to 96 whereas the carrying amount is carrying amount at this date is how much is it is uh, what we need to do is that carrying amount is 18 minus 1.2 right so in case of this is so 96 has been um, thingy and then what we'll do is that 96 into 0 0.2 so that's the fair value for uh, eight floor, right? And then after two floor, and then for eight floor is this minus this. So what we will do is that this gain will be this gain of this minus eight floors gain will be charged to SOPL. It will be recognized over there, whereas a gain of this minus this will be recorded in other comprehensive income okay All right so let's explain this whole thing over here as per IAS 40 invest in property any assets which is rental income income or capital appreciation okay appreciation only the portions used Can be sold or can be classified as investment property if they can be sold or rented out. separately okay property occupied by 
a subsidiary cannot qualify as investment property in consolidated financial statement okay because it is being used by group Therefore, in this case, only it floor qualifies as investment property and two floors as PP the property two floors are appreciated based upon its share it's uh, what do we say On its on its percentage of properties value using its life so appreciation of how much is it 1.2 million right 1.2 million 1.2 million is charged so this is basically we will lose that mm, dollar how much was it 18 right so 18 is how did we get 18 90 into 2 divided by 10 into 1 divided by 15 right that's how we got that much is charged to administrative expense But the remaining it floor with a value of seventy two million. million which is what is it 72 million how did we get it is 90 into 8 divided by 10 right it is not depreciated uh, 
at the year end a value of the building has increased so the increase should be treated as per IS 16 for two floors and as per IS 40 for eight floors. The first two floors is uh, revalued to nineteen point two, nineteen point two million, which is dollar uh, ninety six million into eight divided by. In, right so a revaluation gain of Or plus of dollar two point four million minus. 16.8 right is recognized in OCI because after accounting for one year depreciation the carrying amount is or 16.8 million which is dollar in minus one point two. Whereas in case of it flows. A revaluation gain of dollar four point eight million is recognized in uh, 
so pl as per according to is 40 right the fair value That is one the X five is dollar seventy six point eight million, which is basically ninety six into uh, ninety six million into eighty eight divided by ten. all right anything else that we need that we are missing so 10 floor thing is also done right so explosion explosion damage building let's hold it underline it let's start writing our answer so what has happened is that so let's check the values first of all the explosion explosion during april okay so our um, our uh, thingy reporting date is 30 june 20x6 right 20x6 yep so 30 June 20x6. So it's not x5 20x6. Let me check. So uh, damaged building. Okay, so first of all, let's find out what's the value. was estimated that the fair value fell from 20 million at 30 june right one year ago okay the value has decreased by that much so what is this is this an investment property or ppe first of all let's figure that out So it's still been left at 20 million, right? So, mm, fair value. I'll not say anything about uh, that as well. And then fair value at the end, right? Is 14. It change being this minus this does not say anything about uh, the remaining useful life right holds properties for investment proper purposes okay so this means this is investment property right so investment property that means that it does not apply right for investment property measured at fair value right impairment is it is only accounted for Mm, let's write it down as well 
control b control u is 36 impairment of assets does not apply to investment property that is measured at a value My gains or losses are recorded in SOP, right? So a loss of dollar six million which is dollar 20 million minus dollar 14 million is charged to investment income right so coming back to our substantial provision is 37 right so was charged to cost of was uh, 33 million and whether unsure whether unsure okay so what's the probability as per is 37 Provisions contingent liabilities and contingent assets provision would be recognized. if there is an obligation from past event that will lead to probable outflow of economic benefits benefits that can be measured reliably right So is there obligation? No, it, there is no obligation, right? Year four. It should be reversed. there is no obligation to repair the building
All right. Other thing that we need to look out for is that explain why the accounting treatment for the 10 floor office block in Zippy individual financial statement will differ from the treatment in consolidated financial statement, right? Okay, let's explain this. So, will be one, two, three. Individual financial statement in bold underline shipment. As per FRS in consolidation consolidated financials it means the parent and subsidiary are presented as a single economic unit. In this case, the second floor is being used by subsidiary So it is classified as PP in consolidated financial statement. Okay. And share statement. Whereas Zip is individual financial statement, and does it say we need calculation? Calculation are not required. Okay, good. So, whereas in, in Zip is individual financial statement, the second floor. qualifies as as an investment property as an investment property it 
is being rented out for rental income. Even though no rent is charged. And therefore, this results in a classification difference. So the depreciation charged in individual charged in consolidated financial statement will be higher than of right and also the OCI So, okay, let's look at that as well. So, suppose, suppose, suppose this is only 10%. Suppose this is only 10. Let's input one. Then, what happens is that right. What was the earlier? Control Z, control Z, 8 and 2.2, right? 4.8, 2.2. So, what has model been the change? So, uh, fair value has increased for the eight flows, right? So, Chi would be higher will be lower and the K 
gain on so PL. So any calculations? That's good. Easy for us. So B number. Isn't it B? Yep, OCI, the comprehensive income. And seven. So what do we need to explain about OCI? Let's read the question first of all. The rates of CPR onshore as to the difference between OCI and, and profit or loss, the rational as to why gains can be and others cannot be classified to profit or loss. CP so has a defined pay, pension scheme and the directors have heard that local gap in some other countries allows actuarial gains and losses to be deferred using an applicable systematic method rather than being recognized immediately discuss the differences between oci and a profit or loss the rational as to why some gains and losses can be and others cannot be classified to profit or loss include in your answer a brief discussion of benefits of immediate recognition of remeasurement component under is 16. all right So, profit or loss includes all items of income and expenses, and those which are recognized in OCI as required or permitted by it's required or permitted by Conceptual framework states that profit or loss. is the primary source of information about financial performance of an entity represents the cash flows from operating activities or which is affected by management's action.
right as per um, an item is only classified as or is only presented in presented in other comprehensive income if it income If it provides more relevant information and a more faithful representation of is dependent on is classified is present in CI on a standard by standard basis standard by standard prescribed by the board so the board may decide if the reclassification is not appropriate if there is no clear basis for identifying the timing find the amount or timing of the classification classification right Okay, that's out of the way. Now let's talk about pension benefit scheme. 